Hi everyone. Before we begin today's today's broadcast, the Bird, okay, the Bird, the Bird Gene Group at Chaoming TV, the Bird Gene Program is set, is sad to is sad to announce that our one of our original mentors, the original mentors from the community and community and the host of the Uttering Mind, Mark Utter, pictured right here, has passed away. Mark was the Mark. As a as a Mark who who was a mostly non-speaking autistic per, autistic person who 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 types to communicate to communicate has inspired inspired me and sixty nine other bridging students over the last nine years to here the last nine years amazing typing and showing his movie I am in here and also oh, getting to know, getting to know every single bridging student the last nine the last nine years he's. To, and did his contribution in bridging year number one, to one being the being the uh, being the first being bridging's first mentor, to, actually his mentor, and it's me. It's like in seeing his movie, it's like oh my gosh, I have to, I have to get to know this. I need to get to know. I want to get to know this guy. I want to make this uh, amazing work, and he was loved by by hundred uh, by hundreds of people all around the state in the country, in the state in the country. In the country, whether there was blogs, with, in person, in conferences, and everywhere, it's inspired hundreds of people. He passed this morning. He was he was fifty nine years old. <laughs> excuse me, the excuse, excuse me, the virgin one is uh, Mark Utter. May he rest in peace. The rest in peace, as he heaven. So, and as a tribute to bridge, it's a bridging program is is doing this show to. Hey, as a tribute, so enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Uttering Mind. I am Mark Utter, a self proclaimed inspirational speaker who types to communicate. I'm here with Thomas Caswell. Hey, everybody. Friend, I hope you <laughs> Melt. Writing. Oh my good friend, I hope you didn't melt riding your bike over today. Well, I'll tell you something. I I didn't, and and the the day that we're tape taping this, it is 91 degrees outside, so it is very very hot today. Let me tell you that. I would love to have you say a bit about who you are. Thomas, and how the plans unfolded to bring you here. Well, thanks for having me here, Mark. First, first of all, my name is Thomas. I'm 20, 21, I'm a young adult who also has autism spectrum disorder, like Mark, like Mark does. Mark does. This past uh, school year, I was president of Bridging Advocates Together, I'm one of the newest advocacy groups in the state. By the way, let's bring that photo up to the. You know, from last winter. Yeah, basically that was from last last win, last winter. And um, what what I used used a gavel to 
Apple to try to get everybody's attention during the me during the meetings because because we're a lot of group that loves to talk. That would tell you that. everyone, I'm Thomas Caswell. I'm Kai Duncan. Okay, welcome to episode two of season 10 of, Bri of the bridging program at Town Meeting TV. To, uh, in to, uh, to, today we have our first bridging group, to, group, here, group here during their individual TV show. Individual TV show. It's a TV, TV shows. Each, each pod group in a pod group in and while their community connections will get to make their own t make their own TV show, and this is the first of that this season, uh, that this season, D this season. But first, d first, yeah, first, you may know our uh, other two peer mentors, Brandon, d Brandon and the Ava, who have been here, have been the show in the have been show in recent seasons, uh, so when they were students and peer mentors. So and Taurus as well, as well, you'll get to see them to, at some point throughout the year. But, but first, we have a a fourth pair mentor also join uh, also join us who is doing a uh, who, and he's in a unique position of doing a one month internship with the bridging program to program uh, to introduce to to see to year number nine bridging student Cosmo Duncan to Cosmo Duncan to welcome to. Come now, it's your time. You get, you'll get to job shadow myself, Neva, and Brandon Dura Art on the internship, and you'll also get to be part of the, our first pod treasures. To, as and as of someone who has had the experience, what are you? What is something that you would like to get out of this internship? My my dream, so the peer mentor, this kids with disabilities. It's my, it's my dream of mine. Wait, so you want to inspire yes. the disability? Yes. The disabilities. No. It's, it's a dream of mine. When I, I, I was little, I could even to walk. I was little without my braces. Wow. So you want to... So, but since you want to show the students, show the students, the students that you can do anything to want and be want to, do you like to be a role model for them? Yes, I would. That is that is so awesome, and we are so excited that you'll be so excited for you to be joining us for the next month, for the next month of the time when this is being taped. To, I think the dates of that. Could have the experience with us. We are so excited to have you. So now, the, so now the first group that we have this uh, this uh, this year, it took them a little bit to come up with their name, but okay, then we have this year the first group that we have for bridging are the Joyful Friends. Sh should we bring them out? Yes, we should bring them all out. I'm going to announce one of them. Let's bring them out. So Jeffrey, welcome, welcome back. This is okay, now you're only one of two, but new uh, two returning bridging students this year. I said this uh, this year, uh, this year. So what has you? It's like last year you did this last year also with a transferring muffin. Then what has your what has your experience been so far with this year of bridging? I'm looking for about I'm looking for looking at jets from the airport. And I seen a lot of jets taking off, and it was loud going this direction and going this direction taking off. And I enjoyed tr the new Transformers 1 this year, the Transformers 1. And I enjoy about looking at Transformers 1, and I enjoy looking at the new Orion packs. It becomes Optimus Prime, and D16 becomes Megatron. And Beach 127 becomes Bumblebee, and Alita is becomes a good person, a good Autobot. He was very thoughtful, and I enjoyed 
having fun with um I enjoyed with Patrick Sullivan. I enjoy saying whoops too many scoops. And I enjoyed about Chris <laughs> saying whoops too many scoops. And I enjoyed R R pa Patrick Richardson saying, uh, how's your day going? He was so excited about enjoying graduating with joy, having fun with Carifica and, and having fun and I'm walking to his pace and I enjoy being safe. I like looking both ways and with Carifica, I enjoy taking the have walking with Curve Africa last year, and I enjoyed walking to his pace with her walker. I enjoy helping her, her Curve Africa's walker, and I enjoy helping Curve Africa make her way to one to, to for two eighteen. And I enjoyed my my this year, and it was the best year I ever had done. And I enjoy it, and I enjoy having fun with myself, and I enjoy having fun going out and helping Miss Gardner and pulling out the weeds this year. And I enjoy doing that, and I enjoy going bowling this year. I'm looking forward to a Halloween party this year with Miss Crook and Miss Rundle from bowling. I think we're gonna do Halloween party. At Bowling Alley. Thank you. Say that he, say yeah, what you shared. You know, had some great memories of last year. To, mm -hmm. Last year, and so didn't you? Uh, so in you, and you mentioned some of the students that were here last year. Last year, those were fond memories, weren't they? Yes, they are. So I enjoy. I cannot wait about about looking forward to. What full art of going to bowling alley? We're gonna have a Halloween party because Halloween is on Thursday. I can't wait. And Halloween is this Thursday, the time that we're taping the show. So, <laughs> 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 woo! Thank you. Come again. So now you can share with me. Wonderful. And so you mentioned a lot about your memories of last year. I was mean, so fantastic memories, weren't they? What are you looking forward to about this year? I can't, I can think I'm big, I think I'm be looking forward, I'll say, I will do a good job dissipating, doing what the other people ask us to do, and saying how to make good friends. I can't wait to do, we might see me need new teachers, we might see some new teachers this year. Maybe in 2025! <laughs> in 2025, we might see some new teachers. I know, no, Miss. Mr. Carney is new to this, and he is new to the the bridging program. I think some new teachers will come to the bridging program, so we might see some new teachers here. I cannot wait. That's gonna happen. But we're almost in, yep. Twenty twenty five is almost here. A few, and a few more months. That's right. Three months. We got away. November, December is left. And once it hits the ball jumps. It's 2025. Happy New Year's. <laughs> so we actually know. Oh, we at the time this time we're taping this. It's been two months since bridging began. What have you enjoyed about this year so far? I enjoyed about going outside, staying with the group, and I enjoyed walking to your pace. I enjoyed having fun and and, 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 and doing doing fun things, walking to the, the other side and walking to the right side. Remember that we did that in this, during this, the hot days? Dancing with Rose. Duh. Yes! One of those. Outside. Yes, I love joining Dancing with Rose. We might do it next summer in 2025. I cannot wait! No, in the very beginning, remember, we spent quite a bit of time in the inten CCS Intentional Garden. I like the the CCS Attentional Garden. I like the Attentional Garden. It's so cool, and it's so thoughtful, and it's so cool about going to Vermont Publix. And I like dancing with Rose. I like dancing with Rose from Vermont Publix. It's so cool. 
and I enjoyed what I enjoyed having fun. Hot treasures, from hot treasures, and Echo. I enjoyed that last year. I enjoyed having fun thinking about that. Since this is on the pictures and, and our bridging program, I enjoyed. Pie treasures! It was so fun. It was a big echo. I cannot wait to go back there. I'm going to be going back there in the middle of November, doing this, this, this November. And at the time this is airing, being filmed, I would be I so say, happy. Yeah, it is, it is just a few weeks, less than a month away on Wednesday, November 20th. I, yes, it's almost a few more minutes um, until, until November 20th. I will be so happy. Enjoying myself. Excuse me. And then I'm going to be enjoying myself in Pot Treasures. I cannot wait what echo what happened. Sorry. One, two, three, snap. Hello, James. Well, last week, I remember you were here. To, was there. You had this paper made mask. To, mask. Oh, that was my friend Bonnie. That was your friend Bonnie the Rabbit. What do we ha what do we have here? I must say, that looks quite impressive. Yeah, it's it's um, it's fun. This is actually a fun time, Foxy from Sincere Location. I actually made him myself. And you know, Thomas, I've actually made a lot more of these animatronics than you think. I might have one hundred, two hundred, maybe even three hundred. I have no idea, but. We might find out soon if I if I end up getting anima getting to count my animatronics. I might actually we might actually be able to find out the uh, like the number of animatronics that I actually have. I'm not sure exactly right now. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure right now how many animatronics I have. But I think we might find out soon. So uh, yeah, we might find out soon how many of these things I have. I'm not exactly sure right now how many I have, but. You know, we might have, we might find out soon. Wonderful, wonderful. And let's say like that, looks, though that looks so good. It's so good. I mean, it, it looks, looks like you made all that out, cut all the paper, you get all the drawings, you drawings, you take the all, you did everything. Like that looks incredible. I, uh, this is what one of the things I love about the bridging program is that all of you get to get to come and, ex and show us your talents, your skills, and your passions. The ha the passions, and I can tell that this right here is a passion of you, a passion of yours. And this looks amazing. The I can tell that this is a talent that you have that is just so. I know there's been quite a pe get of people that. Out in the community, and some of us said, about, I said, it's CCS who have seen this, like, wow, this looks incredible. Hey, yeah, also, Thomas, if you didn't notice, Funtime Foxy's face acts differently than other animatronics. How and so? Was, well, because as you see, Funtime, Funtime Foxy, wait, but yeah, this basically. This animatronic, it basically, as you notice, he can do this. He can open his face very wide, and actually, as you can see, he doesn't. He actually, he actually has a certain uh, mechanic in uh, his, his. The first game he actually appeared in, okay, it was Sister Location by Mid of Freddy's Sister Location. Yeah, and basically, the animatronics there, you have to try to evade every animatronic. Basically, in the first like part of where you first meet him is in Fun Time Auditorium. And actually, when you first when you first um, when you first encounter him, you actually get to see Fun Time Foxy up close. You actually get to, you know, well I mean at first you're like when you first see him, he's when you first encounter him, you're actually like you have to give him a controlled shock. Basically your your job is to let like uh check on the animatronics and make sure they're fully functional, they're, they're on the stage, they're, they're, they're performing, they're in their good, they're, 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 um, they're, they're, uh, they're p proper places where they can, they're able to walk around and they can go greet the kids and everything. 
And as a matter of fact, I actually forgot to mention, I'm actually working on another costume back at home. I'm actually working on a Lolbit costume. And if you're wondering how you spell Lolbit, it's L-O-L-B-I-T. As in stands for L-O-L, like L-O-L, as you can tell, laugh out loud. But basically, what you do in Sister Location is what you need to do, what you need to do is... You basically have to check, like I said, you have to check on the animatronics, you have to get them, you have to shine a light on them, you have to press two, there are two sets of buttons. One button turns on a light on the animatronic to check if the animatronic is there. And if you shine, and if the animatronic is not there, then you press this red button that has a lightning bolt on it. And what that does is it gives the animatronic a controlled shock, what I call, what we call a controlled shock. And how that works is basically you have to electrocute the animatronic to get it to come out. Basically, you have to, uh, if you electrocute the animatronic, it will, like, it will start to work better. The electrical functions inside the animatronic will work better and summon the animatronic to that stage. And when you, I mean, the second time when you actually encounter him, you actually encounter him when you have to try, because Funtime Foxy, a fun fact about Funtime Foxy, he is actually motion activated as in it takes motion and to see things that are moving to get him to you know to activate to wake up so if you so basically what you have to do to avoid getting jump scared by Funtime Foxy or attacked by Funtime Foxy is basically you have to keep low to the ground and they've also you've also been equipped with a flash beacon so basically if you need to see in the dark you can press a button on there, and it makes and it like lets a like like lets a loud flash come on the screen. Basically, in short flashes, you're able to see Funtime Foxy actually moving. You can actually see him going like this, or you can see him going like this, or sometimes you can even see him. You can actually just see him staring at you. Before we wrap things up, you know, also, one of your favorite TV shows, as I can see in your sweatshirt, is Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes, actually, as a matter of fact, it is. But thank, but something you should know, Thomas, this actually is not just, the, it's not just a show or is a it? cartoon. No, 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 okay. no, no. no my friend, this actually is, a, it first started out as a game with basically animatronics. It's basically started out as kids that were murdered by a man in a, a, a man in a yellow rabbit suit, and the rabbit suit, and the man in the rabbit suit. His name, he's better known as William Afton. He's in the antagonist, and most FNAF games, actually, if if I don't say so myself, he actually was created. Like he actually was a person. Sadly, he, the suicidal like actions were caused by the loss of his children. Sadly, sadly. His children were brutally murdered in different ways. Some were murdered by animatronics with, like, bite, like, the, for instance, the bite of 87, which his son Michael was actually accidentally killed in an accident with Fredbear, accidentally biting down on the child's frontal lobe and then accidentally taking out the child's frontal lobe by accident. But obviously, it wasn't on purpose, though. I, I assure you, it was not on purpose, I swear. But the animatronics, they happen to have a malfunction and sometimes when they have a malfunction it causes the animatronics to do some kind of quirky things and it causes them to act very strange and just you know not really like themselves but good for you good for the animatronics good for other people they don't attack people during the day but the sad thing is though when the bite of 87 happened it sadly happened during the day but don't worry the animatronics don't walk around anymore now but that's but they but they do do that now in um in security breach, which actually the animatronics you actually get to go up to the animatronics, animatronics but sadly, in my, as most most games antagonize, sadly the animatronics are out to capture you. So sadly and the, but the thing is it's not their fault though, because they have a chip that had been placed in like, in the, one of their receptacles and the animatronics sadly got like basically corrupted and the animatronic systems were corrupted and sadly the animatronics are out to attack you not necessarily to attack you but to like to capture you and like and bring you to and bring you to some and bring you somewhere i don't exactly know where they bring you 
But after they jump scare you, basically, I think they bring you to, like, I don't know, the antagonist. There's also another animatronic in there. It's called, her name is, she's not necessarily an animatronic, but she is a, a lady, like a dancing, as they call her, dancing rabbit lady. Lady, better known as, though, but, but although she's better known as, Vanny. And what Vanny does is basically she you can she cannot be seen by uh she cannot be seen Freddy doesn't eventually see doesn't see her at the first part of the game but eventually as they up as you start to upgrade Freddy which you actually get to do repairs on animatronics in the game and it actually is very good I must say it's a very good game and they actually came out with a second game it's called Security Breach Ruin. And I must say, it is kind of creepy. I don't, I must say. Especially Chica. Like, I don't know. Like, it's, just, it's just creepy, really creepy. I must say. Are we ready to bring on the next bridging students? Yes. So here we have Connor, the Honor, who is mostly non speaking. The Non-seeking honor. I know, I know that uh, that one of your uh, your favorite po uh, music bands. And you're smiling before I even say. It. I love that. Re are the Red Hot Chili Peppers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing all right with you. Duh. First, I can definitely tell that you are so excited. Is there anything else you would like to say? Do you want to say hi? Mm. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> His favorite song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers is Snow. And it goes like, hey oh. If we ever want Connor to smile, we just say, hey oh. Listen what I say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite color, Connor? Mm. You say, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Green. <laughs> and what's your favorite number? <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. It's been a wonderful job, Connor. The, her, you are so full of laughter, and I'm hopefully I know being that this that this experience. And you've been here two months already. It sounds like this experience of bridging, being with the students, me and other students get to do amazing opportunities. I hope you'll get. I hope you'll get a lot out of this, out of the bridging program. I'm happy to be here. Connor will do anything for a laugh. He's a very fun guy. Sure will. I lo love how he loves to have fun, loves to laugh. And loves music above all else. All right, do you want to say bye? Mm. Say bye. Mm. You want to say bye? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Anything else you want to say, Connor? One last smile. Good work. So that is the joyful friends. The friends, we are so excited. It is so excited to watch. We thank you so much for watching our show. The show will be back. We'll be back sometime around January or February or February when, for where our next group will be get to film their TV show the, from, from the set of Tell Me. It's, I'm Tell Me TV. I'm Thomas Caswell. I'm Kai My Donkey. And, and and he's Connor, and he's Connor Gordon. And, 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 and.
and good night. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.